time the truss is made, it's dry, I've removed it from the wax paper and it's ready to test. Prior to testing your truss that you design, the first thing you're going to have to do is actually weigh the truss on one of our small scales. And you're going to have to record that weight in your document. Make sure that you have it set for grams so that we can keep everything in grams. Once it is weighed, we're going to take the truss and move it over to the truss tester. For the truss tester, what you're going to do is slide your truss in behind the clear plexiglass screen, move it over. This top part has to come down and rest on top of your truss, and these two side feet here should be moved so that it's basically half on, half off. You can see here on this one how part of this foot is underneath of it and part of it is not. That's how you want both of those feet set up. From there, balance each side on an edge with the center free, so that way you can attach your bucket. Once the bucket is attached, you're going to start adding weight until it breaks. Now, if you look up here, you can already see that it's starting to bow on this side and bow on this side, so this one is getting ready to break. You want to kind of pay attention to what the shape is doing because you're going to have to record where exactly it snaps. Now that it's broken, you're going to want to take a picture of the broken truss and within uh, your, on your actual drawing of the design, you're going to be telling us where exactly it broke at once you're done with your truss. So now that it's broken, I have my bucket of weight and we need to weigh this as well. We have a second larger scale that can actually weigh how much was being held. So for that basic truss, it was holding 1,316 grams. Make sure that you record this weight in grams as well. You'll need it in order to calculate the efficiency of the truss that you design.